Hi, welcome to steps one to five of circuit design. There are eight steps altogether and six, seven and eight will follow later in another video. The first five steps get us to choosing a cable from Appendix 4 of BS7671 regarding current carrying capacity. The last three steps are to check other factors, voltage drop, shock risk and thermal constraints. First of all, design current has to be established. Shown are the formulas for single and three phase calculations including with and without power factor. Power factor is shown as cosine, which is the same as power factor. For example, cosine 0.9 is a power factor of 0.9. Okay, so now we have the design current, we can choose a protective device. In other words, circuit breaker or a fuse. IN has got to be equal to or greater than IB, a design current. IN also has to be equal to or greater than IZ, which is the current carrying capacity of the cable. These conditions always have to be met. So now we apply any relevant rating factors. Shown here are all the rating factors and references to regulations and tables, etc. Be aware that unless stated otherwise by the manufacturer, conductors operating at a temperature exceeding 70 degrees C are not safe for use with accessories. If 90 degrees C cable is used, then tables for 70 degrees C should be referred to. Once we have the rating factors applicable to our circuit, we divide IN by them to get the tabulated current current capacity when looking up a suitable cable from Appendix 4. In this example, ambient temperature and cable embedded in insulation have been applied. We can now look in Appendix 4 to select a suitable cable. I hope you found this video uh, helpful and informative. If so, please subscribe, click the thumbs up icon and leave any feedback in the comments section. Much appreciated, thank you.